Let's now examine the efforts aimed at repositioning the Nigerian police to deal with crime more effectively. I'm now being joined live from Abuja by a former commissioner of police in the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Lawrence Alobi. Thanks a lot for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you. Now, Thank you for having me. Let me start by asking you uh, how you react to what we saw today, you know, the president commissioning an array of equipment to put the police in a better position to fight crime. What did you think? My heart was gladdened when I saw, not only today, yesterday, when I saw Mr. President, he made a statement that uh, when he was, uh, went for the passing out of the cadet in, in Kano, that uh, the police, that the Nigeria, the, his government administration will ensure that the police will equipped, well funded and well motivated. The police will be well cared for. And today again, he's, uh, he went to launch this equipment. And my heart is glad in that this administration now has now actually re realized that it is important to see the police as a priority in terms of attention, in terms of um, 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 uh, funding, in terms of motivation. Because the police is the life wire of internal security. Without the police, no, not, law and order cannot be maintained. And when, when there's no law and order, no, it cannot be like good governance or governance at all, or democracy in particular. So I think my heart is glad in that this, uh, this is really the, with this step now, I think uh, it, 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 is, it is then obvious that uh, the police will move to the next level in line with the mantra of this administration. And the police will be repositioned, it's operational, effectiveness will be enhanced. Uh, capacity building in terms of training, well-funded and so forth. And I pray that uh, Mr. President also should, uh, should, uh, should that, uh, do, his work, do, do, do the needful, ensuring that uh, the com community that will implement the police transform bill is uh, constituted and ensure that all, the only those who are men and women of integrity, not who come and people who come and begin to siphon and money or share, send money to, for political, political use or, or, or thereabout. So I think my heart is glad, and I'm sure every police officer will be happy. And so I commend the Mr. President, Mr. President, of course, the IG, who is, uh, who by, because of his performance, that's why Mr. President has picked interest to do what he's doing. Because if IG has now, not been doing well, sorry, and may not have been doing well, just Mr. President will not be interested. Yes, yeah, just to get your thoughts on the key equipment itself. Now, we understand some of the key equipment commissioned included vehicles, and they talked about surveillance cameras capable of sending information from anywhere to a control center, in Abuja. Did, did they consider some of our network challenges or has network got nothing to do with it? How feasible would it be to send information regarding security this way? What do you think? You see, it's a policy and internal security in particular is technologically driven in the 21st century. So this equipment will go a long way in enhancing the effectiveness of the police. And uh, you see, before, before such equipment had been procured, the police management team will must, must have at least lens with the network providers and ensure that that collaboration and all stakeholders to ensure that the equipment are effectively utilized for the benefit of that, to the benefit of the citizens and to achieve optimum optimum efficiency for the for the good of this country. So I think I'm not, I don't have any doubt that the the IG and the management team have actually must have consulted those uh, um, uh, those just, um, net, network providers so they'll be able to make sure that. This, this equipment I effectively use, not just keeping them there, buying them and then dumping them there, and then without being, 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 being used effectively. So I think uh, that, that, would, that, would, that wouldn't be a challenge at all. I'm very optimistic. And, and this is a time of year where a lot of people are traveling home. I mean, it's Christmas. And um, you know what it's been like on, on, on the expressways with kidnappings and people being worried when they go home. Now, I'm asking you that because some of the equipment we understand um, includes combat and operational vehicles that will help monitor the expressways. Um, a lot of people have said that our expressways are quite different from the ones you see in, in developed countries because we have a lot of bushes around there. What is the idea around that uh, as one who's been in the force before? Yes, you see, these equipment are meant to monitor. Like I said, like I said to, today's policing and internal security is technologically driven and also intelligent driven too, intelligent based. So this equipment that are meant to, 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 to track and gather intelligence, gather information, and our information will be utilized by men on the ground operationally. So I think it's, everything is going to be holistically done. And uh, you see, what, like when I was in service, like when I was policing Abuja, Kogi Road, and Kadon Road, I was what they call the crisscrossing patrol. And also have some, 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 some points where in case of anything, it can respond promptly. So I think uh, the police might have a lot of strategy, various strategies they can use to 
ensure that the, the, the utilized time when public, public traveling are safe and secure, that the road will be free and safe for, for citizens. And like I, I'm happy that, like I said, Mr. President actually realized the importance of ensuring that the police is well equipped, well funded, and well motivated, and the police should, should be put in the front burner of all the in, in, issue of internal security and address the issues that, that affect the police. So that, because the police are effective, the citizens benefit. If the police are not effective, the citizens suffer. And the citizens are the prime beneficiary of effective policing because that they try to be safe and secure for the citizens. So I think the citizens themselves too should also in line with Section 24E of the Constitution assist the police to ensure that the, the, the police perform better, cooperate through support and cooperate. Not every time tongue lashing the police or blaming the police. They should also motivate them, encourage them, applaud them for what they do well. And I think this will go a long way in also making them to be, perform better. Yes, I know you've talked about being, being happy that um, funding is going, to, is going to happen this time around. And you heard the president giving the assurance that the funding issues will be tackled. But he did say that they will be tackled using the police trust fund. What is your experience of that? I mean, that has a history in its own. I mean, as we're rounding up now, um, what is your experience of that? And how do you think it should play out this time around to ensure that the officers get the funds they need? Quickly? Yeah, I know. The, the, yeah, yeah. You know, like the previous one that was an equipment fund, that one was, was abused. But this one now is going to be it's an act of parliament, the police of an act of parliament, and it's going to love about ten about, about, about six years, but I had always said it should be in perpetuity because we cannot hand over internal. If, if, if that six years elapsed and they said the, the police trust fund is a, is a scrap, no, 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 we will not, we will not be quit to our next generation and insecure Nigeria. So I think that that act should be, that that fund should be in perpetuity. But I know that with with with, with Mr. Mr. President. Uh, um, uh, a fight against corruption. He will, he, will, he will not appoint people based on sentiment or based on political consideration. Who he will be able to show that the, the committee that are going to, to implement the, the fund have men of integrity and, integrity and proven integrity. And again, also the, the fund will be effectively used for the purpose for which it is meant. And that will be able to see changes, we to see a lot of improvement in the police performance, police training, their, 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 their welfare, their moderation, and so forth. And I think uh, like this is really the, the actual the next level where the police will be repositioned come 2020 and thereafter. All right, former Commissioner of Police in the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Lawrence Alobi. Thank you for joining us on the News at 10 tonight.